Hi, this is Manmad Krishna. Now today's our topic is Sanitation Standards Operating Procedures. This is one of the prerequisite programs. Sanitation Standards Operating Procedures are nothing but the practices laid down by a food facility to achieve overall GMPs. The Sanitation Standards Operating Procedures comprises 8 key sanitation areas. I will tell you in the simplest and easiest way how to memorize those 8 key components. I will utilize one mnemonic how to memorize those 8 key components in easiest way. Let us start the 8 key sanitation areas. Yes, how to memorize those things? I will explain you in a good mnemonics. First, let us discuss what are those 8 key sanitation. The first one is safety of water and ice, and second one is condition and cleanliness of food contact surfaces. Third one is prevention of crash contamination, and fourth one is maintenance of hand washing and hand sanitizing facilities and fifth one is production from adulterants a sixth one is labeling and storage proper uses of toxic chemicals seventh one is employees health condition and the last one eighth one is pest control now how to memorize these eight key sanitation areas let us discuss you all know since ancient times, the mother used to feed the baby. After six months, baby wanted to eat the solid food. Up to six months, mother's milk is enough. How the mother will prepare the hygienic food of the baby? Now, the present uh, mothers also, how they are feeding their babies, after six months, they have to give the solid food. For example, Sirala, you all know, ready-made foods are available in the market safety of water how i will just correlate the eight key sanitation areas how the mother applies those areas to provide the safety food to the her baby the ssop component one is safety of water and ice here the mother will boil the water why because boiling of the water will kill the microbes so microbiologically the boiling will kill the water then the second step is here is for P. Second step is condition and cleanliness of food contact surfaces. Mother will wash the bowl. Will wash the bowl properly. And after washing, mother will sanitize the bowl in the warm water. The bowl also mother will choose as a stainless steel material. Non-corrosive material, non-toxic material mother will use. In food industry also, we people are using the food contact surfaces mostly stainless steel 306, 308, 30, uh, 311, 316 like that stainless steel grade is we are using or otherwise food grade plastics we are using so here mother also feeding her baby in a bowl the bowl also stainless steel she will sanitize in the warm water so the second SSOP here the second step the mother then the third step is Prevention of crash contamination in SSOP. Here the mother, while preparing the hygienic food of the baby, she will never allow anyone interfere during preparation of the food. She will prepare only the hot food. Now the fourth component of the SSOP is maintenance of hand washing and hand sanitizing facilities. Here the mother, after arranging all those things, Again, she will wash the hands properly. She will sanitize the wash hands properly before preparing the food. Here the fifth point is protection from adulterants. Yes. Here the mother will prepare the food. That room also, that area, environment also should be free from wind blown dust. Yes. The preparation area because of wind blown dust is also kind of adulteration. So she will take such kind of precautionary measures. And the sixth component here is SSOP, proper labeling and storage and usage of toxic compounds. Here the mother while preparing the food, she will go through the guidelines of the instant foods, instant cereal or instant nutritional foods. How to prepare, how many spoons we have to add, how many tablespoons in the hot water, how to dissolve. The procedure mother will read carefully before preparing the food. SSOP component 6, here mother is also doing the same thing. Now the SSOP component 7, employees health condition. 
yes here mother will administer the baby all vaccinations in a time in a proper time she will follow and mother will monitor mother will supervise the people who are coming near to her baby if those who are having any communicable diseases those who are having any contagious diseases mother straight away deny them to give her baby why because if they are having suffering with coughing and they are suffering with sneezing mother won't give her baby to them why because they are suffering the diseases will communicable diseases that will spread even the mother is suffering with ill or any communicable diseases mother isolate the baby so baby will be taken care by some other so this is how the employees health condition in our food facility because we have to educate the employees if if they are suffering with any contagious diseases if they are suffering with any communicable diseases they have to report to the supervisors or they have to report to the concerned persons so we have given the instructions and supervisors also or qc is also monitoring the employees monitoring the employees behavior also or if they are having any uh, are suffering any illness or injuries so they will report if they are having any open wounds any those are the things here the mother also will follow like that and she will administer all the vaccines then the eighth step ssop here eighth step is pest control prevention of pests in the food industry whereas here mother how she will control the pests yes she always serve the warm food her baby and the food always keep the lid no chances of flies or no chances of contamination of pests or no chances of pest infestations and after that after taking the food after feeding the food to the baby when the baby going to sleep the mother will protect with the mosquito nest because mosquitoes also can spread diseases like malaria dengue or many diseases this is how the mother will protect the baby so ssop eight key sanitation standards eight key areas we can correlate we can easily compare with the how the mother is feeding the baby after 6 months baby mother has to give the solid food so these are the mnemonic we can easily memorize those things that's all the video if you like the video click the bell icon and comment on thank you for watching bye